all the rise to god i welcome all of you in good morning to all so you are watching the the videos of what we have achieved in the last two years but it's a very awesome moment for me to stand here and think about how we started uh, two years ago despite we had a lot of vision we were worrying about how do we make it happen that is the time we approached bayrak for uh, funding when we went and presented to the committee members when he said you have very state of art uh, infrastructure you can start incubator with your funding without our bayrak funding then we said that despite we are in education when we get a anchor a brand like bayrak we can't move forward in this incubation system so then they said okay we will just give bayrak a brand and then you can start the doing it and that is the time i remember the conversations in the committee where our chief guest who is uh, the chairman of the bayonis committee he said that if you are we are giving target to someone then there should be a commitment there should be a marriage there should be a bonding he said we will give money maybe little money he allocated one by red crore that's a good money for us but he said that let them prove and then come back and then we will consider later so that's a i still like can't forget that moment uh, moment uh, professor yogesh rao sir uh, you've been very kind to us and then you had lot of uh, confidence so we were very new to this uh, whole incubation system and uh, that has really motivated the whole uh, you know the cic and the success story what you are seeing here in fact the bayrak has given a 15 startups target to support in 3 years time frame but we are very glad to say we have supported 34 startups by the startups in 2 years time frame probably now we'll come up with a new target and a new request for money from bayrak so i welcome you sir and uh, it's uh, really i my heart beat was uh, you know just decreasing once the processor landed from hyderabad because we were really worrying that what is going to happen in this whole uh, covid uh, last week so i am really glad uh, that uh, you have come and blessed us i welcome you sir next uh, the whole uh, bayrak system has uh, put us on a in a forefront in fact i i must uh, salute the bayrak system for the, the transparency and the governance they demonstrated i i in fact i didn't meet that person in uh, you know uh, even not even once i went to bayrak office to go and meet the person everything was online everything was systematic till i get the money check i didn't even met the person with whom i am interacting with bayrak that's excellent uh, demonstration of governance in our country by bayrak thanks to the leadership of bayrak team and uh, especially headed by dr manish diva and uh, his team dr chaya chawha utkarsh mato and ankita chawha for uh, you know getting us uh, this excellent grant uh, dr manish diva unfortunately could not join uh, in presence person but he will be joining through online next i would like to welcome uh, dr balachandran sir the honorable vice chancellor of tanwas uh, welcome you sir In fact, we they had excellent state of art uh, facility. When we you, you name anything like PSL facility, animal facility, and what not. So we are very very uh, glad that uh, we had visited them just a couple of months ago. And thanks to the support of Dr. Aparao, the director CFDT, as well as the director and uh, R&D and uh, registrar, this all materialized within a month time. You can't even imagine such a government. Uh, university and the vice chancellor himself came for signing the mou very much uh, thankful and uh, welcome you sir then i would like to welcome our silver and sir who has uh, despite uh, some uh, you know uh, family emergency but he has still come uh, to support us in fact the edi entrepreneurship development and innovation institute they launched the ivp program when they launched it uh, you know we were the first one to go and participate 
and then very glad to say, I think you also have seen the video that we got 17 uh, IVP grants and became number one incubator in the state of Tamil Nadu to receive the large number of grants. Thank you, sir. The excellent. Uh, I think uh, while I asked many people to apply, they were very critical about uh, how long the government grant will take. Uh, you don't believe 15 days is the time frame once the application made and the person received the grant of IVP. That was excellent demonstration, uh, sir. And uh, next, I would like to welcome uh, Mr. Deepan Sahu, who all the way come from Delhi. Uh, we were very worried that whether despite this COVID thing, whether they come from Delhi. And uh, the Ministry of Education Innovation Cell has done an excellent uh, you know, demonstration of uh, supporting the innovation ecosystem in the country. In fact, after they came up, the whole academia system has regenerated. I would say. So the Atal ranking of institutional innovation achievements and the five star ranking has motivated the whole innovation ecosystem uh, you know, to the next level. In fact, uh, this national innovation startup policy, which we have adopted 100% is actually a great boon to the system. And thanks to you, sir, every time I go for a check in our university, I go with the innovation startup policy, which says one percent of the turnover should be given to the incubation center. So that's a great boon uh, for uh, you know for us to demonstrate uh, our incubation center. Next, I would like to welcome all our board of advisors. Uh, they are actually the jewel in the crown. When uh, we started without much of brand, today CAC is because uh, today known for is because of the credibility of the board of advisors. We had our board starting from Dr. Tasneem Arif, who is going to join online today, and uh, Dr. Chandu Nayar, uh, Mr. Reji Joseph, maybe you can say hello, Mr. Reji Joseph, and Dr. Rajan Srikan. They are very seasoned veterans, and uh, they have been pioneered in uh, Chennai Angels, IIT, Madras, Research Park, and all. When we went and told this uh, whole idea, they were ready to accept that they had a confidence on us. And they joined as a board of advisors, they have given a lot of boost to us. Now, coming uh, back to our, uh, our own stakeholders, uh, I welcome our Honorable Chancellor, who has come all the way from uh, Malaysia to attend this program. It is his first program after this Corona in the last 13 months. And then uh, he ensured that he will come and participate in this program. The one thing he said is, if at all we want to focus on the next uh, future, he says entrepreneurship is the one which we are going to drive the whole university. Uh, the supreme authority of the institute said that entrepreneurship is going to the future. What more is the CEO of the incubation of one, right? So thank you, sir, and uh, we are highly motivated and uh, welcome you. Next to our co-chancellor, sir. Uh, he is a man who, uh, if I am standing today because of him, and uh, of course, he had a lot of vision, and then I worried that whether I can implement his vision. But I must confess now that I've uh, been in corporate for 12 years, I had a very luxurious corporate life. But the amount of satisfaction I have now is definitely much, much higher than my corporate life. So, thank you so much uh, for uh, giving me this opportunity. Next, I would like to welcome our uh, board of director, uh, Sai Mohammad Buhari, sir. Uh, uh, I do not find a day where he has never called me, uh, right? So he calls me despite he's in you know Dubai, uh, US. He in fact uh, cut short his trip from US and all the way come and attend this program. He he will going to talk about more about the accelerator program which he has launched. It has been a great boon, and then we are going to collaborate more. Thank you so much, sir, and uh, for uh, coming and uh, making a presence. Next, I uh, one of our board member, Ahmad Bhari, sir. Thank you, sir. In fact, uh, I know how much uh, I troubled you to, to attend this function. He has to go to Singapore to go for two weeks quarantine to attend the program. But he ensured that he is come here. And I would say, sir, this is we are trying to convert his dream of uh, you know building a 1.5x. Uh, he is the president of UEF, Indian Economic Forum, which drives the whole community uh, wealth uh, by, by a large target. And uh, it's a 1.5x dream. He's going to talk about this, uh, but he has given a 1.5 million dollar target. Imagine. Uh, but uh, he deserves to give the target because he himself, uh, the, you know, built a two billion dollar empire. So, so definitely, your uh, vision uh, inspires us. 
in fact yesterday we talking to professor uh, harvind chinchur and uh, uh, jan kurmila sir who is our special guest uh, they were talking about uh, how mukesh ambani has brought uh, you know the whole empire he gives a target by saying that uh, a billion dollar ebitda in 5 years he said if you talk less than this don't waste your time so he is uh, you know i think uh, amma sir will take us to the ambani level thank you so much sir we will be very inspired to follow your vision next uh, i am very thankful to our board member ashok gwari sir who is our inspiration behind our all our he says uh, the been in the construction industry for many years but moving to non living uh, you know things from moving from non living to living things he is focused on taking our efforts in agriculture and uh, you can you are all going to visit the cic the majority of the green initiatives our agriculture initiatives like greenhouse mushroom is all the inspiration come from him thank you so much sir and uh, behind our support and uh, i would like to welcome now muttaraman uh, sir who is the inspiration behind our uh, the deputy director of media been a uh, part of the family he said you will not invite i will come thank you so much sir for coming here and uh, uh, our vice chancellor sir uh, as you know any cic program the first person who come for uh, the program is our vice chancellor sir uh, Welcome, you, sir. He said uh, during the NAC visit that uh, CIC is, uh, you know, jewel in the crown. That has really made us, uh, you know, what we have achieved. And then, uh, really, you know, we are very humbled to have you as uh, our, uh, you know, head. And uh, thankful to our registrar sir, who has uh, also been supporting from day one. Welcome, you, sir. And our uh, Jalal sir. who is our inspiration you know behind the whole cic building it has all prepared in 18 days with the support and uh, his leadership with the support of uh, jamal sir and uh, kalin sir and uh, i also welcome our deputy minister sir who has uh, never said no to anything to cic so with the all these things happen uh, with not by uh, you know single person so uh, i may be in the front but it's a whole team as you say and then uh, when i joined it i had to purchase my own table and chair okay and then from there now the whole empire was built because of the 10 member team uh, so i can name uh, prem disha natraj uh, so i uh, bona alisha uh, so i can name on our whole team members who have been uh, behind the whole team Uh, maybe i will uh, end up uh, this uh, you know whole talk uh, by saying that uh, i also before that i also welcome our special guest of the day uh, jan kurvila sir and uh, professor arvind chinchu uh, you know from the guest from uh, thanwas the other dignitary is from thanwas the registrar director of the cfpdp and ceo of chennai angels uh, uh, dr chandran sir Uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, guest from uh, Tahu Medical College and, uh, and and guest from our CSM CRI Dr Ganesan uh, Dr Jay Kumar from CMA for I so I can name many guest uh, from Badwani Foundation and so on as well as our special guest Mr Rahul from uh, the CEO of Gurbesh Sumit a Spanish company one of the largest company doing uh, Chennai Corporation Clean Tech Management and thanks for bringing the Sadak Jalal sir. the director of uh, as well as the part of the family uh, who has brought the whole thing thank you so much sir so if i missed somebody as well as these directors and students uh, on many online guests who are joined yeah dr tasleem sir mani sir please uh, uh, welcome you all uh, welcome please welcome uh, joining the online uh, so if i missed anybody uh, just because i went to sleep yesterday properly So otherwise, I want to welcome all of you, and then uh, uh, so I just wanted to end up by saying, uh, Tamil saying that "Yepari toki, yepari bolu," which means that if, if this whole team loses this war, then who will win the war? No. With this, I welcome all of you, and then uh, we are going to have this foundation day. Then we are having to have a demo day where the seventy-one startups have uh, had a booth. Star, where you can interact. Thank you so much, Ambedkar.